Hello everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem. In the last in the last episode, we did chapter three, Band of Mercenaries, where we fought some mercenaries. Actually, no way, we are bands of mercenaries. We are Lindus' Legion. And I apologize for not uploading in the past few days. I kind of have a lingering cough because of my allergies, and I didn't want to cough in all your ears and stuff. But because of that, I still have that cough, so I won't be reading dialogue as much in this episode. Then there it is. <coughs> you know, I was fine before I started recording. It was like slight to non-existent, but here it is now. Anyway, chapter four, an occupation shadow. <laughs> Mildew Mildewield Fortress, is this the best we can do? Yeah, it's not the same. <coughs> Come, Will. Surely you jest. <laughs> Shut down. Ah, it's me. Dorcas. And of course we can never have a peaceful moment here because we are about to be ambushed. Oh my god, look at this guy. <laughs> Damn it, I should have laughed at that. Oh god, I wasn't ready for that. Well, it's good to know that everybody cares so much about the well-being of a woman in this time. I wonder why. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. That is a lot of dudes. Hmm. Well, well. Yeah, we are under attack. And there are a lot of dudes. <clears throat> Alright. Don't worry about it, Natalie. You're pretty good. So this is the first map that introduces a uh, a new mission objective here. We have to protect for seven turns. This means, I mean, we could theoretically clear out this entire map, but this is also still a tutorial because there's something new here. But um, we'll go into the objectives later. But anyway, yeah, you just have to last until the seventh turn passes. In some cases, like this one, you can theoretically just clear out everybody and be good. Okay, if we want to move Lin here. Now, what we do want to do here is, uh, Kent and Sane, they're going to take hold of the front entrance, right here. Also, beware this archer. He will uh, take out Florina, so I don't want to move her to I don't want to move her just yet. Let's take a look at their iron swords. Will can't do anything, but if I move him... Yes, I know, I'm, I'm, I know. I'm not trying to get Florina killed. Move her up here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, here comes Dorcas. He's gonna attack with a hand axe. I didn't even go over Dorcas, but I don't have to. Usually with later Defend chapters, you'll be seeing lots and lots of reinforcements, so really, they're gonna try and make you defend. Oh, that's a very thick wall. <laughs> Sane still getting hit, I see. Well, you didn't double that guy, though. Oh, okay, he didn't do it. Well, I can still attack him with Will. Yeah, she's not gonna move. And here comes Lin. <clears throat> yes, he does. I wonder what would happen if he went and talked to him. Oh, he only has a hand axe. Okay, well. You, tell me, are you Dorcas? How do you know my name? Natalie told me. What are you doing at these rogues? I need money. That may be, but joining up with the mercenaries? It's the only way to earn gold in these parts. I'll do anything, even this. For gold? Anything? Would you hurt your wife? Natalie is here. We're protecting her within this fortress. What? Natalie's... she's here? She was so worried she came looking for you. Think, Dorcas. Would your actions please your wife? You're right. Well, I understand. I can't do this. I'm done with these bandits here and now. Really? Yes. And I will repay you for your kindness towards Natalie. Allow me to fight for you. And with that, Dorcas has joined our team. He's a fighter. They specialize in wielding axes. Axes are, uh, as we've seen, kind of inaccurate. So he'll be kind of decent here, I guess, since most of it, since the majority of these people use swords. Now on on hard mode, funnily enough, Dorcas as an enemy unit can kill Natalie. That's kind of fucked up, but it's kind of how it crumbles too. Oh, okay. I guess they want us. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so he comes with a hand axe. This allows him to attack from range, as he did with Lin earlier. Hand axes are very... Oh, okay. I don't know if that was scripted or not, but goddamn. Probably was. So now, now he has an iron axe we can attack. Uh, from, a f from up close is what I'm trying to say here. I'll have Will pick at this guy. <clears throat> Those three up there to the left are going to try and break down that wall. I need to move Florina so she doesn't get murdered. Oh, wait, no, she's fine. Well, she should be fine. I don't know. I don't trust a game where the AI can just be a dick out of nowhere. Same. How much HP? He, okay, yeah, he should be, they should be fine down here. I am very concerned with getting Florina experience. I guess if that wall does break, I can send her up there. This fight isn't really too hard. I'll probably turn off the animations now. We've seen about enough of everybody else. Here comes the apple sword. I would keep Sane with his lance, but there are still axemen around, so that's a, <coughs> a very bad thing to do. guy's attacking Will, that's fine. I can probably have... Oh yeah, reinforcements, okay. So they are gonna bring reinforcements. So I'll have Lane come around. <clears throat> Not my voice, uh, sorry. I do want to get Florina more experience. How much is this? Is, well, I have 24. Okay, so I'll help. I'll assist Mia for breaking down this wall. Uh, how much attack does this guy have? Nine. So he won't be breaking it. But I can break it with Will and then attack with Florina on the next turn. So I'll set them down here. Lin will come around down this way. Wait, do I still have the mini cot equipped? I don't want to have that equipped. I do. Oh well. Okay. If I cook the Iron Lance, then this guy can't do any damage to Sane whatsoever, but it's fine. Yep, 
yeah, Florina's still kind of lagging behind because of how uh, unfortunate the, uh, the weapon choices of the enemy are. Oh, there's a sword guy right there. Okay, well, she can take care of that guy, too. Can you guys stop getting hit? Ken's gonna level up on the next one. Hopefully he can get a redemption level up. Because that last one in the last chapter was pretty bad. Just a skill point. They're both gonna get level ups pretty soon. This one's gonna get pecked at. But she dodges. So, I'm going to do this. Let that wall get opened up. Did she double with the eye lines? She cannot, it is too heavy. But she does... Alright, that's not bad. I'll let him attack her on the next turn. Because I don't know how much damage this guy's going to do. Let's see. 12 to... 4 defense, plus the whatever, whatever the weapon trial gives. So that's going to that's gonna hurt a lot. <clears throat> it won't kill her, but it's just going to hurt. Nope, I don't use the Mekati. I'm going to use the Iron Sword. It doesn't kill, unfortunately, but it's fine. She is one point shy from being able to kill this guy. As if that doesn't happen enough in Fire Rumble. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna heal Kent this turn. No, oh, it seemed like a lot more when I was looking at it for a, for a brief second, but you know what? You can never be too safe in a Fire Emblem game. Uh, Dorcas, you can just come over here, I guess. I don't really have too much for him to do. I am watching that mercenary at the top left, or top right. I'm gonna send Florina over there after this turn. I just wanted to get some exp- oh, there are two guys over there. Oh, they're coming back from the lane. Oh, they guys, they have a pretty good chance to hit her. That's, uh, not too good. Ow. Oh! Ooh, that may be good or bad. We'll uh, see you in a minute here. With a good level up, though, let's go. That Axeman might kill her now. That's not good. Actually, no, wait, 12 minus 4? Yeah, she's almost gonna die, but she shouldn't die, hopefully. Zane gets a level up. Alright, decent, I guess. That was a weird level up. A Leonardo-esque level up. Uh, okay, yeah, she'll be fine. And she dodged anyway. <clears throat> Not bad. <laughs> so, uh, we'll kill him. I'm glad we got to see Florina's crit animation. <laughs> now Kent levels up. Much better, much better than last time. Everybody's getting good level ups, I like this. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the animations now. It was fun while it lasted, but we have things to do. He almost gets a level up. Um, I'm gonna... That's the boss move. He, no, if he would, well, he does. He can move, but if he wanted to move, he would have by now. Um, hmm, this is tricky. I'm going to send Lind back up here because I also want to lure these guys into Florina's range so she can get some kills. So I'll have her heal up. <clears throat> For good measure, I will have Sane kill this archer with his lance. No, that's a bad idea. I haven't killed the sword. Oh, he has a level. He levels up in swords, so now his sword rank is D. Wow, hmm. that was fast. Dorcas can come up here. Kent is almost up with his swords, and we should be good this turn. Yeah, this doesn't attack Lind. I, I'm not sure if I'm saying Lin or Lind. I believe in Fire Emblem Heroes. This is good. And I know it seems short, but 
Oh wow, she is surrounded. That's not good. <clears throat> oh no. I think this is a good part to leave things off on. So we're going to be hitting our first two part due to my uh, constrained time here. But next time on Fire Emblem, we're going to be seeing if we can get out of this little jam we've gotten in. I will see you guys then. <clears throat>